Hey everybody, it's Quinn, back with another installment of Deciphering My Process. I have, ta-da, the finished Modern Masters box that you've seen several uh, iterations of in my past videos if you've been checking those out. If not, go back and look. I've got three or four that speak to the process with this. When I got it, it was a gift box of some sort for a Maglite. Or no, not a Maglite, I'm sorry. I have one for Maglite. Uh, this was a gift box for some sort of art supply, and it was a shiny silver tin of some sort. And I really liked it because it had the window, which meant I wouldn't have to cut anything in it. <laughs> um, and I used the Modern Masters Oxidizing Distress Paint to turn it into this nice rust bucket that you'd see before you. And then after I finally got done with that part, and it took a good while to get everything coated, uh, I had began to do the design elements and it's now finished. So let me show you the final. Now this is Fortel, parentheses, Neurosis is the title. It's uh, about six by four and probably about inch and a half deep. And this is really hard to see, so I apologize if this glare is really bad, but there is a little plastic magnifier, like what you would put over a book to magnify words in front of the doll face so it gives a real weird zoomy look on on it so that's pretty nifty uh, i've also got some collaged papers that i roughed up and sanded an old game piece some old hardware a little bottle with a snippet of text in it a key with an eyeball on it some scrap wire and then whatever the thing behind the doll is kind of reminds me of a watch band but it's not super thin uh, and rusty but i thought it was a really cool element so yeah, this one's finally complete and it turned out really well. It was definitely challenging at times. I had some difficulty getting some of the things to glue down, but it, it did turn out and it is all one piece. I designed it to stay shut so it doesn't come open. And I am super happy with it finally. Um, one thing I really learned with doing this particular project is that sanding your piece well is important. It seems as though the shinier the metal, the more likely you are to have paint uh, designed to distress, not adhere. So sand your stuff well. Be careful with it, of course. Use ventilation, wear a little mask, don't get, and breathe in that nonsense and don't get it in your eyes. It's not worth it. Um, but yeah, turned out really well. I like the Modern Masters paint a lot. I like the effect. I like the darkness of it. Um, and it does tend to crack and do some other interesting things here. Like it just seems almost like it it reacts to whatever's on the surface. And so I may have gotten some sort of impurity on the edge of this when I had done some of the primering and the painting and it popped up like these little, these little divots and cracks and little bumps. It's really cool. I really like it. It definitely feels old and, and very aged. So yeah, this was a fun project. I'm really excited to see uh, what people think of it. And as always, if you're interested in asking me a question, feel free to leave me a comment. Uh, and if you're looking at this on YouTube, you can hit the subscribe button. I would love to hear from you and continue to show you all the cool videos I've got. There's more coming, but that's all for this one, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.